Hi, today I'm going to be talking about a device from M Audio called the Mid Air Wireless MIDI Transceiver. And I'm going to be showing you how I set it up for use uh, completely wirelessly with my battery powered keyboard, the Alesis Photon X25. This keyboard, incidentally, uh, runs on four C batteries. I've also got an Xbox 360 uh, wireless controller right here uh, that is linked to my MacBook Pro. The Xbox 360 controller is talking to the Mac through a custom interface that I designed using a shareware program called Controller Mate for Mac OS X, which allows you to set what any control um, on the controller does. And then I'm also using Digital Performer by Mark of the Unicorn, aka Motu. I've been using Digital Performer now uh, for about eight years, um, ever since I got my Motu 828 back in the day. It's an old school Mac program, as you'll see in the next clip. This was a setup which was originally designed for sequencing, but they added digital audio features as well when it turned to digital performer. So without further ado, I'd like to show you how this works. We've got the mid-air, which is connected via this nice uh, curly cord right here. Basically that means if I drop it, it's just going to dangle. So if it comes actually off my clothes, you know, it's not going to jerk out. It's just got this little receiver guy. Uh, it takes two AA batteries. I'm using some uh, what are called Hybrio uh, nickel metal hydride rechargeables. It's actually got a little Velcro strip where you can Velcro it to your keyboard if you've got a Velcro receiver strip on your keyboard. It's what I call physical analog connections. Now you might notice the gaudy yellow chain. That was kind of an impromptu decision on my part. Why yellow? It's what they had. Why didn't I use a guitar strap, well, frankly, I didn't want to make another trip over to Trade Up Music to buy a guitar strap. And I just thought chain would be cool. Uh, it won't break. As you can see here, uh, I just used some uh, steel wire. This is the kind I used right here. Hillman, uh, 22 gauge, 22 caliber, galvanized. Now you can see I'm able to wear it. It's pretty sturdy. I can uh, flip it around this way for when I'm playing uh, my regular um, keyboard, which over here you can see is a Korg uh, X2. And what about this? Well, the uh, way I have this set up is to control uh, the Mac. Now if I push up on the left analog stick on the um, Xbox controller. It's going to switch my um, patched, uh, my punched in track to the left and if I push it down it's going to switch it over to the right. Now this is, an, this is what enables me to change the patches that I use for my keyboard. So I can also with the right analog stick I can control my mouse and I can set this enables me to change stuff and set stuff on there got it set to where if I hit the right bumper it clicks and holds down with the mouse so I can click and drag. So you can see here the Pro 53. And one of the cool things on the X25 is that it actually has the ability to change its preset right here uh, to the Pro 53. 
and now it's all dialed in and it's got these little inlays as you can see uh, that tells you what you're doing on your Pro 53 um, and so therefore I can know that this is going to, if I punch this guy in, it's going to go. And then like quickly I could just go. Now I'm on the Moog. Now I'm back to the Pro. Now I'm on the Moog. Now I'm back to the Pro. So as you can see, it's got some flexibility to it. And if I want to get to the Finder, uh, let's say I want to open up a file, I can hold down my Xbox button. Um, here, I'm going to push that, hold it down for a few seconds. If I hold it down for five seconds, boom, finder window comes up. Now I'm going to be able to, let's say, let's say I want to do live broadcast into Second Life. 